Okay, I'll just get going in a minute here. This should be what episode 11 of No Forest Nodes, I think. Although we're sort of well past the point of the game where that matters, so. Um, the end of this hour or so, we'll discuss whether we want to start another town or what we want to do here. But, um, let's have a quick look at our statistics. So we're at 1,736 people. That's not bad. Finally got to 100% educated, so I think no more nomads is the rule from here on in. Clothing is 98. And struggling with clothes in this town. I mean, not that we're running a nudist colony or anything, but don't have the production that I'd really want, so we need to get that cotton clothing going. Our food graph is leveling, so more food is going to be required here. And um, I was wondering to myself, I built all these houses down here. Some nice dock sections here, and all we've got so far is a fishing dock. So I think we're going to build a bunch of seafood farms and uh, maybe a couple more fishing docks and stuff. So I'm going to do that just because our food graph is leveling out. Mind you, we got 832,000 food, so we're probably okay for a while. But let's just lay in a few more dock buildings here while we're down here. So we'll go on the top here, we'll go fishing dock here. And I think the boat goes up. Um, the things I found the most interesting so far in this set is the seafood, um, farms, and, uh, the cranberry bog. There's watercress here, too, which I haven't tried, so we can put a bunch of those in as well, too, I think. Give those a try. Now, I've got to figure out where... Okay, we're gonna have to build up to that guy. Um, but let's get some. Hmm. Oh, why don't we put watercress in first here? Now we probably should put storage in first, actually. Um, so let's do. I think I want room for more houses, so let's do a barn there. And what did I say, watercress here? Okay, we'll do some of those and... I think let's let that build and we'll add some seafood farms and stuff like that. And uh, a few more houses actually wouldn't go amiss here. How do we want to work these ones here? I don't know. Hmm, not super happy with that. Let's maybe rethink that. You do it that way and it's double dock. That's probably not terrible. Probably kill less builders too. Alright, so we'll let that build. What do we have? Um, down here. Okay, we've got a few more pastures. So we could do... Um, I don't really want to, but we could do chickens and ducks and stuff. That will help with our feather problem, too. For their survival coat, so... Yeah, that is a bit awkward with the different levels. You can put stairs in between them. But I find, um... Because the colors are different or the tones are different... I don't... I didn't... The one time I did mix them, I didn't like it, so... 
I've been doing one in each um, lake kind of thing. Okay, that was great. That's at the bottom there, so we're going to go cherry on this one. And this field is field mushrooms, so... Um, let's put some oats in. Um, yeah, so we can do a little bit of an experiment here, um, let's see where can we do that. What I was doing is putting one of these stairs down, and the only thing Okay, now the way I remembered is it worked, but there was a bit of an air gap. So we can do that as an experiment and see how that works out. So this cross piece is going to have to go here too. Because I think what I want to do here is I want to go either four houses in a, a gap. Yeah, like that. So three houses and then gap and then three houses. So this piece here has to go away. And then we're going to come over from here. Like so. Alright, we have another field here. Now, I believe this was going to be cotton. That's the whole point of that. Okay, so we're growing cotton. We're making cotton cloth, and one is on rugs here. But we are currently not doing anything with that, so... Let's rectify that. Reserving for housing here. And let's see. Um, I think I didn't go specially warehouse again. General clothing. Okay, and then we're going to put in. Hmm. Well, let's use something a little different here. Let's use a tailoring company here. Okay, let's put four of those in. And let's clear out some uh, stuff here. And okay, now that's sugar cane. This is going to be sugar cane as well. We might as well make it mirror image here. So sugarcane, cotton, sugarcane. No, I was just thinking that. So when, once I finish messing around here, we can go over and plug them into the trader and see what's going on there. And I think I forgot to uncheck that. So. Alright, so we got four sugarcane. We'll make these guys sugarcane. The rest of it is going to be cotton, I think. Now we can, actually we can put in a couple more tobacco, I think. Hmm. Let's actually have a look here. So let's go on our first trading dog here. Alphabetical order. Now, are they just going to be rugs? Is that what they're going to be? Well, you know what? You're right. They're trading for 18. I think the coats are 15. Hmm. 
Well, that's something to think about. I wonder if it's using more... Hmm. Alright. Well, that's a good thing you asked that question. Um, let's do leghorns here. I've been resisting the chicken thing, but I think I'll succumb here. Alright, so we're gonna do leghorns over here, I think. And we still got a bit of a tool issue, too. Alright. I think you might be right about the dense tree shock, too. Um... What are we... I think we are trading cigars, are we not? Or did I dream that whole thing up here? Oh, it's pipe tobacco. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right, actually, you know? We can hunt for that in a minute here. So every visit and... The big things right now is just log. Well, I'll get log and stone. Alright, so we want to check for the cigars, we want to also, you know, we could probably put another couple dense tree shacks down around here somewhere, All right? But in order to do that, we need to establish our storage here. some stockpiles going. Oops, that was pretty awful. Oh, that's because that's in the wrong spot. Never mind. Hang on here. Everybody hang on. Okay, let's do road first, and let's get the storage here. Yeah, well, that's why I want to get this road in here. And, uh, I should have road and stockpile here. And then we can see how much room we have. And these things up to here. How wide is that? Three. Get these stockpiles in because we're going to remove all these trees in a minute here. Okay, so 3 by 10 stockpile. Alright, now let's have a look at what that would look like here. So we're renewables, right? Yeah. Um. So I think we can slide one in there. And probably one in there. Let's give it a go here. And let's get all the uh, stone and iron out of there. Okay, this tool thing is starting to really annoy me here. Alright, so we're going to have to hover over here for a few minutes to just take care of this here. So I'd say smoke them and if you got them, grab your coffee. We're going to have to babysit this for a minute here. We have a hundred thousand miscellaneous stuff here. <laughs> we have a lot of pipe tobacco too, so we should probably be trading more of it than we are. 
Alright, but I'm gonna resist the urge to go away. I wanna make sure this stuff gets built here. I'm mixing house types there. in a while so I might as well do that while we're waiting for the tools here. Looks like I had at least one misclick there. Okay you guys all upgrade. Now I'm thinking across the river here, our bridge built here, that we want to start getting, wherever we're getting our iron from, and I think we're doing iron ore into iron. Um, so we probably want to get some coal going here pretty quick. So we've reached the edge of the map, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this here. Hmm. Well, let's see how many we get in without flattening here. Three is probably good for now. Let's put another bridge or two in here. And... I think let's keep them consistent here. These were covered bridges. Alright, and let's throw a general purpose stockpile here for their general purposes. Um, okay, that's all fine. Don't forget the tool situation. Wouldn't be one of my games without running out of tools, so I guess that's part for the course. Hmm. I see somebody getting cold every once in a while here, and I wonder what the heck that is. Yeah. I guess we're just getting big enough that people are walking long distances here. Okay, that'll help a little bit, I think. Yeah, we're only on iron right now, so let's do that. Let's make the tool limit like 1500. And we'll turn all of these up until we get caught up here. And then we'll turn some of them down. Okay, that fishing dock there. I have to remember which dock set I'm using here. Okay, that's a two that we want. Okay, and you're set up already, that's fine. And you 
we're bringing stuff we either have or don't want, okay. Okay, and these are the watercross farms, okay. It's a rather bright shade of green there, but I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, I think another barn. So why don't we do the same kind of thing? I can line that up, actually. So let's do um, a line of the regular seed farms here. Now I think there was two spaces between these here. Just to make her enough room for those boats there. Okay, let's see if that worked or not. Back to our blacksmiths here. Alright guys, come on now. We have about 40... 45 tools in stock right now. the stockpile built so we can clean all this out. How are we doing over here? Okay, now this was sugar cane and sugar cane and this is going to be sugar cane. That's cotton, so we'll make this one cotton as well. And let's see, um, we'll make these bottom two tobacco so this one can be cotton. Smith up here, let's turn that up on iron. I'm a bit shocked that we're still on iron tools, but I guess I wasn't paying attention to that, so. That should end our tool problem that we had. Um, let's get some of these mines built over here. Alright, so we, um, I don't think we have any candle production anywhere. Which would be a bit of a shame, really. Okay, we just put nine butchers in, so... Where would be a good spot to put candle making here? Um... <laughs> I'm not sure why I have one apiary there, but that's okay. Okay, no mats. Oh, look at all. <laughs> 256 of them. No, I just got my education up to 100, and our food isn't awesome, so... I think I'm gonna have to say sorry. No more nomads in this town, I think.
Yeah, that was a lot of nomads. Um, but yeah. Takes me back to when we went, I was going full kamikaze in my first series. Alright, now, if you were going to be, say, Cole, and you were going to be maxed out, And it's up the iron limit to 1500 or something here. And you're going to need a bit of storage, so let's, um, let's road you off here. Let's get the road into the stairs there. going on let's get some storage in here so this one is going to be um that is mineral storage here and i think we can safely put iron on these other ones here okay so once we get some coal we'll start doing uh, carbon steel or something here um, but we need to get those candle makers going too. Okay, let's prioritize all that. How are we doing over here? Yeah, and there's our little experiment with the, the two sets. So I'm using a downward and uh, that seems to connect. There's people living in there and stuff. Where I ran into problems though is when I had... Uh, Um, what am I trying to say? I had some problems where there was an air gap, and I don't remember specifically on the buildings, but I think if I took the, uh, this is the lower piece here, so let me build that, and yeah, let's just build that as an experiment. Um, you can play around with it, but I found a few cases where it it wasn't working out. And because I'm memory failure, but I don't remember the spe specific scenario, but there was a couple of where it was kind of a no-go. Plus the whole color thing, right? Like, you got this one shade of um, the lumber, and then you got this sort of faded... Which is probably more accurate, right? So if you can if you can deal with the intermixing of the shades there. Alright, let's get some housing going here. And I want to get some more reed farms here. Okay, now I was gonna do another row here. Although the fuel is caught up, so... Hmm. I actually don't mind um, overbuilding reeds, and then uh, if we get too many in stock, we'll just make a bunch of rope. Yeah, that's that's the best way of doing it. Um, I can't remember what series we're playing around with that. I don't think it was the Llama series, I think it was something else. got both bees, beeswax and tallow, but I think I'll put these guys on tallow. And I think that should only be four? No, why is that five? Alright, I don't know. So 
let's let that go. That'll make a bunch of candles for us. Um, we do have six apiaries over here. And we've got this little area here where we've got a, a market and a small school and stuff. We can let a few houses in there. Which I think I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put another uh, candle maker over here. Now where is this circle here? Even the blue one's hard to see in the dense tree shacks here. But I'm pretty sure it's probably around here somewhere, so we can put a candle maker over here. And I don't think that'll encroach on anything. So this one will be on beeswax here. And that should give us a lot of candles, I would think. Now, did I set my timer? No, okay. Um, I'll put 30 minutes on here. Now, are these ones set up? Yeah, looks like we got most of those already set up, so. No, I think we have two more pastures here so I'm thinking ducks and something okay, apple, cherry uh, orange is going to be this one here and that is parsnip and that is field mushroom uh, let's go blueberries here Okay, let's have a quick look at our um, food breath. Yeah, pancake flat, not good, okay. Let's build that fishing dock and you guys, okay. I'm surprised these things built here with the air gaps between them. I actually didn't think of that. let the dock build and then we'll come back to these guys. Now watercress here. What do we get for productivity out of these? Yeah, I'm not super impressed with that. Oh, okay. Um, this one I'm going to turn on. We have crawdads and shrimp already, so let's make this one crab. And these ones will wait till the docks build. And I think, well, it's underwhelming, but let's um, let's at least complete the row here. No, oh, not quite. Okay. mines over here. Um, iron is down to 111. So let's turn this guy on to iron. And I think we're going to max him out. Put this one spare. I just want to see where our furnace fuel maker is. Somewhere around here. Oh, there's a... Oh, uh, we do have candle making going on. Well, I tell you. Well, we should have a lot of candles and that's okay. So our original charcoal was here. 
Ah, there's our furnace fuel here, okay. Let's put another person in there. Up this up to 800 or so. Yeah, let's make an furnace fuel out of firewood. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that for the moment. Our fuel is doing better now. And that shepherd, um, another quick hunt for the shepherd here. There we go. Okay, I feel better now. Now the description on the shepherd here says, Searches all the land looking for animals, um, takes a long time. You may eventually exhaust the local supply of animals, at which time this building may be upgraded. Oh, upgraded to a regular gather or remove. All right, we're not using gatherers, so this is gonna be removed. And uh, I think put down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I tried to click on it and there was nothing there. So, I don't know. I must have been doing something weird. Alright, that's cotton, so this is going to be cotton. I don't know. I find I get a little frustrated, so I just leave it alone and go back and check later, so... Seemed to work that time. Uh, okay, now we were going to make these tobacco. For completely unsubstantiated reasons. I don't actually know where we sit. So let's check all our pickup buttons here. Alright, so plantations are built. Okay, these are our uh, tailoring companies and we're gonna make cloth coats I think is what we're doing here. And these are going to be purely for trade. Well, people can grab them out of the barns in transit, but the idea is they're going to be traded away. Yeah, we're only at 400 coats here. Alright, um, let's pin this one so we know when the first one is made. Now, let's talk about... Or let's get sidetracked, I should say, on, uh... Oh, you know what? That, um... That thought, Grace, that might be exactly what was going on. You can only have one. So I had it marked for destruction. Um, but it had yet not been destroyed, so... Yeah, good thought. Alright, so we're getting sidetracked on tobacco. That was a plan here. Now we have 40,000 leaf <laughs> already then. So, um, luxuries, right? being only able to make one of something. Okay, so the carrying barn says only pipe tobacco. Hmm. Well, unless it's in one of the other sets or something. Um, I think we need to build a bunch more carrying barns, so... 
Hmm. So I left spots for two here. But we need more than two, I would think. So let's put, um, I don't think those were placed correctly. Okay, so that's six of those, but that means we're not trading enough pipe with tobacco over here. So what have we got in there? 200, okay. Let's make this more like a um, thousand here. And I don't, know, I don't even know if we've got any in this one here. Yeah, 200. And if we can actually make that work, then we can uh, take the pressure off the firewood, and I think that would be a good idea here. Oh, you need to make sand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glassware, right? Okay. That's one thing I said I was going to get to here was the preserving, and I haven't really done that so far, so... Um, sidetracked on tobacco. But we can put sand in somewhere over here. Okay, I'm actually going to take this little experiment out there. So that's working with the lower one from the original dock set. Um, and the downward stairs. But I'm going to take that out. Oops. Okay. Hitbox is a little weird there. I, uh, I just may have killed a bunch of people here. By accident, totally, but... Let's maybe put that staircase in temporarily. And let's reclaim that. But that's not going to go well. Okay. Sorry. Now I want to get some sand going here, right? So. I think that's land based. So why don't we put two of those in, and that's going to be raw materials, which is this guy here. Oh, you're doing a water world. Very cool. I stopped doing my water world because we had a too big a map so I'm gonna maybe redo that one of these days here okay this was the other beeswax one okay and our fishing dock is working and I think we should have some storage over here and we've got a bit of an illness going on too I see that but we have lots of hospitals so we're not gonna worry about that Okay, these have constructed. So we got the crabs there. We have crabs, craw crawdad, shrimp. So we'll go oysters. And this can be clam. And this will be scallops here. Yeah, it's something you don't really grow very quick on that, that kind of map, but it's kind of fun. Um, yeah. That's, uh, I've been playing, since I started doing a, a bit of recording here, I've been doing different map types and stuff, and 
Actually, it's a lot more fun than I thought. And I should probably get my speed going back here. Around 10, I think. So I want to get another barn here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the mistake I made too, is I was on too big a map, but... Which size did you start, like small or medium? I think I would probably go small even. But curious how you made out. here. And we should probably connect up these docks, I would think. So let's do a bit of that. some more down there in a minute. Um, sand pits and a mine. Taylor and companies here. So we're going to put um, cotton, cotton, cotton. Uh, cloth coats, so that's what they will be. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put 200 of those in each of the things here. And in a little while, we'll go back and we'll downgrade all the firewood inventory here. Yeah. Yeah, I have the same tendency. I, I always pick the largest map I can. But that was a mistake on that water world for sure. All right, um, we are getting pipe tobacco in here. It's worth six too, so that's all right. Oh, I forgot we're trading a bit of ale too. Okay, and oh, okay. Now, I thought I purchased wheat, but I'm not actually sure that I did. So let's check here. You know, wheat is purchased, okay. Pumpkin we should probably have. And let's see what else do we need. Um, we have all those. I think I want to get sugar beet too. And I'm not sure if I can actually afford all that, but I think I can. So 5,500 is uh, one and three. And then seven and a five, I think. One, three, seven, five. Here, come on. There we go. Yeah, I think if I, if I'm gonna do another water world, I'm definitely going small map and then just kind of make it a little easier. Pearls, yes. Flowers, no. Um, so that's a good point. I think we should just put, like, um, well, let's see what our inventory looks like here. It's only 22% full. So why don't we just put a thousand flowers in here, in each one of these. I don't know if, how many traders actually take the flowers, but... They're just sitting in the freaking warehouse here, so. 
All right, and our shepherd. I never did look at how many actually we have domesticated animals here. Only nine. That thing works massively slowly. <laughs> Name, yeah, that's actually Grumpy's idea of uh, of doing that's pretty cool. What is your dog's name? My boy was named Jake. Jake the dog. All right, sand pit and then glass is what we're going with here, right? Keats, okay. After the poet. All right, we have some more pipe tobacco going on here. <laughs> I still giggle at the second choice here, but we won't be doing that on YouTube. I don't think. Okay, two more to build here. I like Gracie's name though, that's cool. Very cool. I must admit I haven't read any poetry in a very long time, but... All right, now some of these things we could turn on, right? have a lot of beef so I'm gonna get two of those but the other choices in here we've got llama I think we have bison and the fish we're doing through the salting so okay I'm gonna build two more of these salting houses here so this was in preservation and I think I think, I think, I think they were over here. Okay. Well. And what the heck, let's build three more of them here. And let's uh, actually put some roads in this time. And, yeah, no sense checking that. You know, it's amazing those um, two dense tree shacks actually made a bigger difference than I thought they would. Hmm. Okay. And now what else we're we doing here? Sand, 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 okay. Let's max these guys out here. here. So what are these called? Uh, come on now, Taylor and Company. So let's say we're going to leave another row of those. in here at all? The answer would be no. Uh, 
Alright, so we've got expansion room there. And let's keep the, uh, the idea of storage there. Yeah, so what's on? What am I on about here? Okay, now it's refining that I want to do, right? And... Glass and glass products, okay. So, I think we'll put... To start with, we'll put maybe three of those in. I don't know if we'll need three. And I believe that glassware is a crafted good. Okay. And if I believe that, then it would be a generally crafted item here. Hmm. I think I'll line it up with that road there. Alright, so that'll build. Yeah, let's get this guy going. Oh, these are the ones that, um... Hmm. So they're not upgradable. We'll have to see if we play this long enough for these to run out, whether we can just delete them and re-add them, or... or what. Interesting, okay. Now, in my quest to actually add more reed farms here. Let's make sure we get some of these here dock sections in. So let's leave a space and... This is probably going to kill a few builders, so let's make a policy of not watching what happens there. Okay, let's do a bit of a status check here. <clears throat> 1,924 people still our pancake flat food graph, but we have 844,000 food in stock, so... We won't panic too much on that. Okay, and... Oh, poor dog. I'm so glad people adopt dogs. You know, I was really worried in the pandemic everybody was getting a dog, and I was really worried that afterwards people would be Abandoning dogs and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, now the crane is going that way. And I'll put two bisections in there. I think that's going to work, but don't hold me to it. Well, these watercress farms are certainly bright, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, a labradoodle. Very nice. Cool. Alright, there's our pig timer. 